back to PhotoP. Okay, so um, so here is the interface. Okay, so you you know about the interface for the most part. My classes are using this for creating images from scratch, but you guys aren't going to be doing that. You're going to be working from photographs that you already have. So I'm going to open up a photograph, um, and I want you to open up a photograph also. I really don't care what it is. Um, I'm actually going to open up two photographs. What we're going to do is we are going to take an image or an object from one of the images that you shot and put it into another um, image that you shot. Okay, so here is a, an image that I shot. So just looking at this image, um, it's, it doesn't really have a whole lot of saturation, so I think I'm just going to kind of play with that first. So I'm going to go to image adjustments and saturation and move that out of the way. And I'm just going to sort of play with it a little bit. I mean, <clears throat> so I'm just trying to trying to bring that color up a little bit. Um, not too crazy. All right, so I'm going to go with that and I might just do the brightness and contrast just a little bit. So again, image adjustments, brightness and contrast, click. Sometimes you have to say the word click for it to actually take effect. So I'm gonna up the contrast. You bring down the brightness a little bit. All right, I'm good with that. Um, so now I'm gonna find an image that I am going to cut something out of and paste it into this image. Open and place image that I had before and then I have this one that is now on top of it. So I'm going to click the checkbox. Um, and so you can see over here I have, if you look in the layers palette on the right hand side, I have this image and this image that one and this one. So what I'm going to do, so this is what I want you guys to learn today. I want you to be able to take, have two images, take a subject from one image, cut it from there or copy it from there, more likely, and paste it into the other image. So that, that is my goal. So I have the lasso selection right here. And I am going to trace my little squirrel friend. I'm leaving some of the green in there just because I didn't want it to take his whiskers out. So I'm kind of um, not, I, I'm having a little bit of grass in there. I'm not getting really tight to his body. And again, with the mouse, this is, okay, so there is my mouse friend. I don't want the grass that's inside here. So I'm gonna hold down my Alt key and I am going to trace around the inside to sort of get rid of as much of the grass as I can without going blind. Um, I might even trim a little bit of this off. So my Alt key, if you hold down the Alt key while you're making a selection, you can get rid of part of that selection. Alternatively, if you hold down your shift key while you are making a selection, you can add to the selection. Okay, so here is my squirrel friend. Actually, he's not my friend, but I'm just going to call him that. He actually ate through two sets of my string lights outside, so he's not my friend, but I'm going to I'm going to be a, call a truce for today. So I'm going to go to layer new layer via cop to a background where he is just the lone ranger. He is the only thing on the background. So now I'm just going to try to maybe um, erase a little bit of the green off of him. So I'm going to go to my eraser tool. Oh, would you look at that? And I'm going to make my brush bigger just because I like to see where it's going. And I'm going to make sure I have a hard brush. Of course, I have to. And 
I'm just going to try to get as much of it as I can off without making him lumpy and have corners. I don't, I don't really want my squirrel to have corners. Miss, how do you zoom in? Um, if you hit control plus 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 on your keyboard, you can zoom in and alternatively control minus 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 or double click on the magnifying glass, which is in the bottom of your toolbox. That will get you back to 100%. That was an excellent question. And then if you want to move him, like right now, I can't see his undercarriage because it's at the bottom of my screen. If I press down on my space bar, I'm going to get this hand and I can just push my screen up a little bit. So I'm not being super picky about, you know, getting rid of every little piece of grass or whatever it is that you're trying to get rid of um, right this moment. That will come later. So once I can't do anything else with this huge um, brush, I'm going to make it smaller. So he is pretty pixelated. And I'm OK with that for right now. So I can also use my um, lassos to get in there. So this is the polygonal lasso, and it's kind of gives you a segmented line. This is probably not going to work too well because I'm trying to get inside his whiskers, but I'm not trying too hard, so it's going to just look bad. And then his nose. All right, so I'm going to do control minus minus minus. And here is sort of my squirrel foe. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to put him on here. So there he is. But I want to make him a little bit smaller because I want him to sit in the tree. So I am going to make sure I'm on the layer of my squirrel bow. And I know that because it's highlighted, it's darker than the other ones. So then I'm going to make a selection around him. So I'm gonna use my, mar my rectangular marquee and just make a square around him. And then I'm gonna edit, transform, scale, and I'm gonna get these handlebars, there's little little squares around this bounding box. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my shift key. This is really important. You want to hold your shift key and drag a corner when you want to make something proportionately larger or smaller. And this is particularly important when you're making people larger or smaller because people don't want to be any heavier or skinnier than they are. They want to be who they are and they don't want you to mess with them. So I'm gonna make him smaller. And I'm trying to picture him maybe sitting on top of the roof here. So I'm making him about that size. So once I've done it, I'm gonna click the checkbox at the top. And so there he is. I'm gonna click Control D on my keyboard to get rid of my marching ants. And then I'm going to move him around. So we're going to put him, I'm actually okay with him being right there. Although I might want him looking in the other direction because there's a bird right here that I think they could be friends. As long as that bird doesn't have string lights on his house. So I'm going to edit, uh, transform, flip horizontally, and then just scoot him over here. So there is my little dude, my little foe, on top of the 
birdhouse. We're going to do a little bit of this, um, you know, maybe every week and just try to get a little bit better at it so we can do these cool projects. Um, so what I want you guys to do is continue with this project. So you should have a, an image that has an obvious thing that doesn't belong in it in there, like sitting on something or, you know, something so I know that it is clearly bizarre that that thing is there. So I know that you copied it from another image and pasted it in there. Okay, so I'm gonna post this on the class page. It'll be under photo P, so I'll make a page that says photo P. And every time we do something in photo P, I'll, I'll record it and post it on that page. So that way you can always look back and see, oh my gosh, what the heck did you do with that? that squirrel with the grass all over it, who, by the way, is not my friend. I'm calling him my friend. But I had to spray hot sauce on my lights, like I'm talking hot sauce on my lights, so that if he bit into it, he would have fiery breath and he wouldn't do it again. See you tomorrow. Make sure you save these. Oh, let's talk about saving them. So right up at the top, it says PSD. So I'm going to go file save as PSD, and it's gonna go into your downloads folder. Now, when I go to open it again, it will be in my downloads folder. And then, so that will be tomorrow. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys go. Make sure you save it as a PSD so that you can get find it tomorrow. Have a super fabulous day.